What is up you guys, thank you for stopping by the channel once again. This video is going to be all about hairstyles. I wanted to cover some of the hottest trends and some of the hottest hairstyles that are gonna be coming up in 2017 that you guys can, you know, use as inspiration. You guys can change your hairstyle to it if you're bored. There's a lot of cool things that you can do with hairstyles and I'm gonna try and cover pretty much every hair type. So curly, wavy, straight, and even the very coarse hairstyles of like, you know, African Americans and stuff like that for my African American viewers. So let's just jump right into it. The first one that is a trend, whether you guys like it or not, is the short cropped textured fringe. That is basically the hairstyle that I have right now. If you want to see how I style this haircut or how I got the haircut, I'll have it posted right up here in the little eye for you and in the description. So this hairstyle is highlighted by the faded, tapered, blended, whatever you wanna do on the sides. It has to be a lot shorter and the front is gonna be longer and you're gonna push it all forward Give it some texture and just have a nice little fringe or in America we say bangs. Um, and that is essentially the hairstyle. You can do this with curly hair, you can do it with straight hair, you can do it with wavy hair, and you can do it with very, very coarse hair as well. To me, I feel like this hairstyle gives you a little bit more of that grungy look, that little bit more edgy, fashion forward look. Um, and it's right on trend with like what's going on in the runway shows. However, in my opinion, I think you have to be a little bit more brave to venture out and do this hairstyle simply because if, you, if, it's go, if it goes wrong, if the haircut goes wrong, the hairstyle will look absolutely horrendous. So it needs to be on point. All right, so the next hairstyle is going to be the bald fade. When I was in LA just a week or so ago, the bald fade was everywhere and it looked so sick. So the bald fade is gonna basically be you're just bald on the sides and on the top you just have like a like a one or like a half guard. So it's gonna be a very, very, very low maintenance, very, very, very short, short haircut. And I was actually, honestly, it looks so cool, I was actually considering doing this. It's that very clean, minimal, almost like militaristic uh, haircut. If you wear that with a pair of ripped jeans, some Chelsea boots, and a nice overcoat, it looks really, really clean. Once again, any hair type can do this because the hair is so short on top, it's not going to really show anything, really. You, any hair type can do it. It's because it's going to be so short, it looks all the same. But if you do have very coarse hair, you could throw some waves in there. It's going to look very, it's going to have some texture to it. And that always makes it look a little bit more, a uh, little bit different. So next up, we have the timeless classic hairstyles. These are gonna be your side parts, this is gonna be your pompadour, this is gonna be your slick back. It's gonna be all of your timeless hairstyles that you've seen throughout the ages. Um, and I'm not gonna say this is a trend, but it's something that will never die just because it is such a staple in the hairstyle world. So typically with this hairstyle, you're gonna have a little bit longer on the sides. I would say probably about an inch or so, just to the point where you can slick it back. And if you're gonna be doing a side part, you find the part in your hair and you go that way with it. You can do a little bit of a pomp in the front or you can just do a nice classic side swept businessman look. If you wanna do the side part pompadour, it's basically the same exact thing. You can go a little longer on the sides, um, but you're gonna wanna actually pomp the front of your hair up and give yourself a part. That's the hairstyle that I used to do uh, pretty much as my go-to. That's just because I liked it. You can make it look messy. You can make it look sleek. There's a lot of different versatility you can do in these classic timeless hairstyles. Once again, I do have a lot of these on my channel. I'll have them linked here and right up here for you. You can go check them out. And if you want just a classic, original pompadour, I recommend going to check out James's channel, The Pomp. He makes pompadours look effortless and super easy, and he gives you guys a lot of good information on pomades, so I definitely recommend James's channel. He'll be the picture right here. I'll have a link to his channel down there um, in the description. Uh, this is just the classic timeless piece. You know, you can never go wrong with this. It makes you look like a badass. You know, it's the G-Eazy look. It's the uh, Elvis Presley old look. It's just the classic pompadour that is so uh, traditional to the American hairstyle. Once again, you can do this with variations of hair. Uh, with coarser hair, it's gonna be a lot harder. Straight hair, super easy to do it. Wavy hair, you'll have a nice, nice definition in the hair. It's gonna give you a lot of wave. It's gonna give you a lot of texture. Next up is the messy, natural look. This is gonna be for the longer hairstyles. That, you can always do it with shorter hairstyles, but it's kind of meant for the longer hairstyles. This is something where you put a product in your hair and it kind of looks like effortless, like you didn't really do anything to it. You kind of just rolled out of bed messed up your hair a little bit and went out the door. This is really big on the runways right now. This is also big in the runways last year. It's just a nice effortless look that doesn't take too much time to do. And there's just something about having a little bit more 
of a messy, carefree look that kind of stands out from the sleek, classic looks. Just a nice, messy, careless look that gives you that edge and kind of that badass vibe. You can definitely do this straight hair, super easy, because this is gonna fly around wherever you want. Wavy hair, you're gonna have a little bit more natural volume, natural shape to your hair, so it's gonna be very easy to get the natural, messy look. Just go look at Carlos's hair. That's pretty much what it is all the time. Curly hair, you can definitely do it. And with coarse hair, if you grow it out long enough, you can definitely get the messy look. Um, you can you know, get it a little bit more nappy. You can braid it up a little bit. You can definitely f do this with all hair types. It just depends on the length of the hair that you have and the style you're going for. Another look that is definitely in is just long hair in general. I'm talking long hair down like past your chin, resting on your shoulders. That kind of long hair, pretty self-explanatory. You don't really need to do anything to style it. It's kind of, think of like Harry Styles from One Direction. If you have straight hair and it's super long, I recommend pushing it back using a light, light, light cream at just to hold it back for you because if it's straight, it's just gonna fall straight down in the middle. You're gonna have a middle part. You're gonna look kind of strange. Wavy hair, you guys have it made for this hairstyle. Wavy hair, in my opinion, is the best for long, long hair. You just get the natural waves. You can throw it around however you want and it looks just so cool. Very coarse hair, you guys can definitely do this as well. Um, you know, let it be natural. You can have it nappy. You can have it as an afro. You could pull off the dreads. You can braid it. You can do a lot of things with long, coarse hair. And last but not least, one of the biggest trends coming into 2017 is the weighted line. The weighted line hairstyle, haircut, whatever you want to call it, is basically just a visual line in your head of where the hair disconnects in lengths. Um, and that just kind of makes things a little bit more fashion forward. I actually really like this look. When my hair gets longer, I'm actually going to do it just to see what it looks like because I think it looks really cool. So there it is, you guys. I covered a pretty good amount of hairstyles with the hair types associated with them. I hope this gives you some inspiration for 2017. If you want to go out there and just try something new, try something new. It's hair. It grows back. If you don't like it, cut it or fade it on the sides. You're good to go. Don't worry about it. Let me know what hairstyle you thought was the coolest and what trend you think is the coolest in the comments below. I'll have it, I'll have it in a comment so you can just respond to it there. Other than that, I'll let you guys go and I'll see you very soon. All right, bye.